Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Llama Mama Kayla and I welcome you to my yarn tube. I'm so glad you stopped by for a visit today and I am so happy that I'm able to be here with you. So it has already been a full day for us. We just got home from the ER with Big Daddy and his, and his back issues that he's got going on. He has um, degenerative disc disease is what they called it. So um, he's been having this ongoing problem and he's been waiting for his doctor's appointment to come, avail uh, come up. And so um, he just couldn't take the pain anymore. Yesterday he was at work and they called him up to the front office to come and give his opinion on something he said. And so when he got up there and he looked and said what he needed to say and he'd done something for somebody else, he was supposed to go back to his office and he said all of a sudden it felt like somebody stabbed him in the back and he could not move. He could not put any weight on his right leg at all. And so he was having to put all his weight on his left leg, which his knee is, um, it's got a torn meniscus in his knee. And so um, he, he said he was in so much pain that he was crying. And for him to say that he was crying, this grown man, you know, at work crying, um, it really breaks my heart. I mean, it really does, because that's not him at all. And so he said they got a wheelchair and took him to the nurse's station. And um, he got two shots. He got a, a Toradol shot and a steroid shot maybe and so anyway and then they wheeled him to his office and set him there in front of his desk and so um then a little bit later you know he texted me and told me what was going on and all and I was just like oh baby I'm so sorry I hate that but um he came on home last night and he was miserable all night long he could not get comfortable in the bed he was just miserable miserable and just hollering out he was in so much pain so he got on up about 4 30 this morning and he was like I, I i can't take this pain he said i just cannot take this he said let's go to the er and i'm just like are you sure you know like okay and so we went to the er and he ended up getting more shots and a prescription for muscle relaxers so maybe that will help him the muscle relaxers um I don't know pain pills that he got before which he had only got seven pills and that's been like you know a couple weeks ago um, the thing with pain pills is you got to take that pain pill before that pain comes back or you can't catch up you know what I'm saying so um, and once the pain pill wears off he's just you know in miserable pain so anyway, maybe the muscle relaxers will help relax whatever's going on. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. That's what we've been doing today. And he is um, just in so much pain still. But hopefully things are going to kick in and he will get to feeling better. And my face probably looks really shiny because I do have coconut oil on it. And you can tell it's kind of red and blotchy because, um, yeah, that's what lupus does. <laughs> it's all part of lupus. And so I just have to learn to live with it. And my face is super dry and the skin's just peeling off. And so I've got coconut oil on it, trying to moisturize it a little bit. <laughs> but I wanted to share with you my finished project. I love this project. Like when I, when I got this book, and I saw this project, I immediately knew I wanted to do that project. Like, yes, I'm going to do that project. And then after I have done the project, I love it even more. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. First off, this is the book. And Nancy had sent me this book a while back, um, Amber Groomy Animals at Work. Um, you can find this on Amazon. So... I immediately love that squirrel and wanted to make him. Here's a nice big picture of the squirrel. Now I decided not to do the hat and the vest and I didn't do the wheelbarrow yet either. I might do that later on. Who knows? Um, 
right now I just wanted to make squirrel. So that's what I did. And, and so I'm gonna show you my finished project. Now I did do a video of me brushing his tail out and I did a video of me hot gluing him together. So here is a video showing him off because he is awesome. Ta-da! Look at him! Oh my gosh! He is so, so cute! And Big Daddy named him Ziggy. Uh, I love his ears, a little tuft of hair, you know, poking up above his ears. And then look at this tail. Like, that tail turned out awesome. That was my first time to ever brush yarn to do anything like that. And you, you can brush this out and make it all smooth and pretty, but I've never seen a squirrel in my yard that had a nice groomed tail. They always look, you know, real fuzzy. And But I just love how that blended together and how that looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love the tail. I love the way he turned out. Like... <laughs> He is just awesome. I think he is adorable. And like I said, Big Daddy named him Ziggy. So this is our Ziggy. <laughs> Ziggy the Squirrel. I just love him. I do. I just love how he turned out. I'm very, very pleased with him. Okay, I used a G-hook with him. And I used um, Red Heart Super Saver Carrot. And I'm not sure what this cream color is. It didn't have a label. It was just one of my little floppies and didn't have much left in it. So I think it's a red heart though. I'm pretty sure it is. And so that's the two colors. Probably two red hearts. Carrot and some kind of cream off-white. It's not off-white. It's not soft white for sure. It's more of a creamy um, color. You know, it's not you know, Red Heart has white, and then they have a soft white. It's not the soft white. It is a creamy um, ivory color almost. So anyway, I'm not sure the name of it. <laughs> but um, I just love his tail. That is, that's the most awesome part. <laughs> but I love the way he came together. <laughs> I just expect him to like get up and start moving. And while I was making this, I was laughing at myself so hard because you ever see those movies where they go into an elderly lady's house and she has like taxidermy animals? Um, and the one I can think of quickest, the quickest one I think of right off is um, the movie Hope Floats when they go to the grandmother's house and she has all these taxidermy animals in her house. I was laughing at myself so hard because instead of taxidermy animals, I'm going to have like crocheted animals, so <laughs> sitting around. But anyway, I just love him. But I wanted to tell you a few things about the pattern. Um, it, the book is very easy to follow along. The pattern is straightforward. No questions, you know, what it wants you to do. But I did have problems with this hilt area here. Um... I, I made I made the first one and I was like mm, that don't look right mm, it's not gonna work I went ahead and made another one and I was just like mm, no I don't know so I ripped the first one out again and I tried to make it again and I tried to make my stitches tighter and um, it just wasn't turning out and so I had recently did some little hip area things like that on this hamster. Remember ha Hammy the hamster? Now his pattern came from a Zumogurumi book, but I had done this little um, hip area from that. So I got that book out and compared the pattern to this to the pattern in this book. And it's the same, it's the same except this one didn't go out as big. It stayed small. Um, this one is only six rounds and the one on him is nine rounds and so it just was not turning out and I made these suckers probably about six times not each one but I probably made a hip 
you know, six times, trying to make my stitches tighter so that it would do what it was supposed to do because it was not cupping up at all. This is a flat piece. And so, um, I finally decided I was just going to have to do something on my own there. So, on row eight, I single crochet four, decreased, single crochet four, decreased all the way around. And then row nine, I single crocheted all the way around. And that worked. Yep. So, I had to, you know, change up the pattern just a little bit on that one thing. And that was all. But anyway, um, other than that, the pattern was great. Very easy to follow along. You know, and I just, I took my time and made just the pieces. And then, um, just you know, put them on my desk and I'd make another piece or work on another project or do something else. And then when I got all the pieces together, it was so much fun hot gluing him together in the previous video <laughs> and just watching him come to life because, I mean, just look at that face, you know, he's just like, <laughs> I, I see personality in him, so much personality. And I just love his tail. I mean, I know I've said that already, but yeah. I just love how it worked out. <laughs> so, this is Ziggy, and um, I'll be putting him, displaying him somewhere here, and maybe behind me or somewhere else in this room. But uh, yeah, I can see myself making lots more animals from this book and the other new book that's just like this one. I think it was Animals. Um, this is Animals at Work. The other one might have been Animals at Play. I can't remember the name of it, but it was another one. It had a penguin on the front of it. And that was in, um, I think it was in a video yesterday too. Yesterday's video. Um, it had a penguin on the front instead of this one. But anyway, um, there's so many other things I want to make in this. Um, I want to make that cat. I'll show you what cat I'm talking about in just a second. I want to make that cat right there, that tall one right here. And look at this dog. Oh, it's a fox. Look at that fox right there. He's, he's a basketball player. Isn't he cute? Like, I want to make all of these, okay? Who am I kidding? Yeah, I thought it was a dog, but it says it's a fox. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to make all these creatures in here and just have them sitting around. And then I'll feel like one of the ladies that has the, all the taxidermy animals. <laughs> that would be funny. But anyway, um, I, I do have a taxidermy animal. I forgot. A chicken. I, I didn't bring him in here, but I will show him in another video. But, um, I just love the way he turned out and very, very pleased with that pattern and, um, pleased with my, my Ziggy. He does have a different name in the book, but Big Daddy just called him Ziggy, so that's what we're going with. But anyway, guys, um, we will let you get going. If you don't mind, please say a prayer for Big Daddy's pain and he can just, um, the pain eases up that it's tolerable for him and um you know and he does have a doctor's appointment tomorrow so you know i hope he gets some kind of results from that but she's just a primary general practitioner doctor so she'd have to give him a referral to see someone else but anyway yeah let's just hope that she uh, understands the pain that he's in and gets him in quickly somewhere <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go, and we will see you all again very soon. Bye, friends.